short tutorial on defining a website in Dreamweaver. We will go to the site menu, new site, and we give it a site name. So I'm just going to call this site one. We now pick a location for the site. So this is the local site folder using the browse button. I'm going to go to a folder I have for DKIT, for this academic year, for websites, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Site1. No spaces are included in the folder name, as this could cause some problems later on, so it's good practice to get into. Click the Create button, and choose. So we have given the site a name, and we've told Dreamweaver where we want to store the site. Next we're going to tell Dreamweaver where we want to put most of our images by default. So we go to Advanced Settings, Local Information, and then the Default Images folder. So again we just browse here, and this will bring us to our root folder, Site1 that we just created, and then using the New Folder button I'll create a new folder called Images, and choose. So that's got our local storage issue sorted out. Next we want to go and talk about or define the servers. So we go to our servers folder, click the plus, plus button to add a new server. Um, I'm using XAMPP, so I'm just going to call it XAMPP. And I connect using the local network. My local server folder, I'm going to browse to it. So on a Mac, it's in Applications, um, and it's in a folder called XAMPP. It's down here. And inside that folder, there's a subfolder called HTDocs. If you're using a Windows machine, it will more than likely be on the C drive in a folder called XAMPP, and then there'll be a HTDocs folder similar to this. So we click HTDocs, and what we'll do here now is this is where we have our, our independent websites. Um, I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm going to call this one Site1. One. Again, no spaces in the name, and click Create, and Choose. So we're essentially telling Dreamweaver that the remote location for the, the website is in this location, which is part of the Apache server. We'll then give the Dreamweaver its URL, so it's going to be localhost, because it's on our machine here forward slash and the name of the folder that we just gave it, so site1. If you've used uppercase, it's a good idea to keep it exactly the same. We'll now just go to the advanced tab, and here we're going to set up the testing server model, and it's going to be, um, it's going to be PHP MySQL. Click on it, and we go save. So now we've got a line entry here for our XAMPP service that we just put in. Uh, the remote server is using it, and I'm going to take the testing server. So both of these are using it. You could have a number of different servers added in here for different locations. And again, you can only take one remote and one testing. If you need to edit this, you can double click, or you can click the edit button. When complete, just click save. What we'll see now is if we hover over files, that we've got our site defined, our root folder defined, and our images folder defined. That concludes this tutorial on site definition. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.